Hello, my name is Nina Ariana Stidham, and today I'm going to walk you through our innovative React component generation tool. This leverages a platform known as DeFi in order to create a large language model that generates React components. This isn't any old tool. It's a smart solution designed to streamline your development workflow. Now, let's dive in and see how it works. Now, here is the platform DeFi, which I have used to create this React component generator. As you can see, I've created this agent that is dedicated to generating React components. Now let's see how it works. Now, here you can see that in order to get an LLM to complete a given task, you need to specify some concise instructions so it knows exactly what it is doing. For example, in the case of our React component generation, I've asked the LLM to pretend to be an expert in UI and UX design. Thus, the LLM can therefore understand the required skill in order to complete its given task, therefore meaning that we are able to provide a React component which is aesthetically pleasing and fits your needs. Now, at the heart of this tool are the variables, which you can see here. They are mentioned in brackets. Uh, these allow the user to not only interact with the LLM in an easy way, but they also allow the LLM to more easily understand exactly what the user wants, as opposed to having to extract this information manually from a user's prompt. For example, here are some of the variables I have. Of We have the React component. You can pick from any of these options in the drop-down menu. You have text. This is the text that will be inputted onto the website. So if you want any sort of text to be shown on your React component, this is where you would put it. The colors gives the LLM a bit of knowledge as to what sort of color scheme you want for your background to make sure it fits your aesthetics. And the theme you can pick from a bunch of our drop down options such as gaming, space, fantasy, nature or floral which will allow the LLM to extract icons or images that will be able to enhance your React component and cater it more to your needs. However, I have made this the what React component and the theme variables optional as shown here, which therefore means that in certain cases where the user may want to have a React component, which is not one of our options, that they are still able to specify it within the prompt as to what React component and what theme they want. It is clear here that the uh, tool basically just uses these inputs to guide the generation process. It remembers your preferences as I've set in the instructions, which means once you've set the variables once and it knows what you need, it will be stored until you have changed these values. This therefore means you can save your time and avoid repetition. If you want to take your agent to the next level, like we have done with our React component generator, you can include context. These are essentially PDFs, data sets, TXT files, which give the model information that it can fine tune on itself in order to produce a more aesthetic and functional React component. The context of React libraries, which is the first one, library name, allows the model to more easily understand what React libraries it should use, while the color theory and web design inspiration context are responsible for providing the model with more knowledge regarding high-level UI designing. Thus, the model is able to fine-tune itself on this these knowledge and give itself a more heightened knowledge of UI design and React component generation, thus leading to a more effective result. As shown here, our agent also utilizes a wide variety of tools here. For example, GitHub to search through open source repositories, for example, code that it can use to generate React components, DevDocs in order to find more code in order to assist with its React component generation, web scraping to find example websites and information to aid in its generation, 
and generate QR code in the very rare case in which the user would like to embed a QR code into their React component. Now, just before I demonstrate the tool fully, I would also like to take some time to show you how our tool is able to enhance accessibility. This can do, be done through chat enhancement features, such as text-to-speech, which allows the user to be able to hear the responses from your agent, or speech-to-text, which allows the user to dictate their words into a prompt. Uh, this is beneficial for accessibility because it allows more auditory learners to be able to understand and process better what the agent is saying. Furthermore, I also have a conversation opener. This is a, a line of text that the agent will say each time the user wants to use the model. And it allows the user to understand fully how to use the agent as it provides detailed instructions on how to get started. Now, with no further delay, let's demo the tool. Now, watch closely as I demo this tool for you. Here I am going to select uh, React Burger Menu. Um, and the text I'm going to include is Nature is beautiful. The colors I'd like to include uh, should be a vibrant color scheme to match. So I'm going to choose green and pink here. And I'd like to, the theme to be nature, as this is the title. Now from here I can click the start chat button. And since I've already inputted all my variables, I can easily just type in the words generate me my React component and see what it comes out with. Okay, so here's the code it's generated for me. I will now test it for you all uh, in React. Now, see here, the code that our model generates are for the default app.css, app.js, and index.js files. They can simply just be copied and pasted into these files and should work seamlessly. You can just navigate to the DeFi website. And now, before you simply just copy and paste into your React code, I just want to make sure that it's highlighted here that you need to make sure that all dependencies are installed before you first run this code. As you can see here, our agent has specified that you need to install React, React DOM, React Burger Menu, and Fort Awesome, React Fort Awesome, in order to use these icons. And it has also given us the exact command to run this. So if I um, copy this and then paste it into our terminal, it should be able to install all the dependencies required. The dependencies have finished installing, so now I can try and copy and paste our code into VS Code. So, as was mentioned before, we have the different sections, app.js, index.js, and, and app.cs. So we need to make sure that we're copying the right section of code into the right file. So if I copy everything into the app.js file, we can see that the first bit is for index.js. And I can simply copy and then paste this into the index.js file which can be seen here. Make sure always to save in between. Now for the CSS file, what I have to do is copy and paste this into app.css and quickly just save this. Now there is a now it is perfect and we can have a look and see how it looks. All we have to do is make sure we're cd'd into the correct directory and as it says at my bottom, burger menu, we are all good to go. So I can run npm start and see what it looks like. And here's the finished result. 
As you can see here, you have home, about, contact. It fits the pink and green gradient color style. It has the leaf icon that corresponds to nature. Really, it's got the animations as well. It's very, very well executed. Now, let's see what happens if we try with certain options that aren't specified in the drop down menu. Now, in some cases, you want to create something that isn't necessarily specified from our options. For example, a scrolling bootstrap carousel, which is mass themed and light blue and light green. So now here you will notice that bootstrap carousel is not in our React components list, nor is the theme of maths. So here I can just quickly input the text I want to be displayed. Maths is fun. The colors will be light green and light blue. And then I can start the chat and specify my requirements from within the prompt. Generate a bootstrap carousel, which is maths themed. And from there, the agent should be able to create the code that we need. So as we can see here, it's already given us a requirement, npm install React Bootstrap. So we need to make sure this is installed first before we can proceed with our code. Now that has completed generating, I can start the copy and paste process. Although the first thing I need to make sure is that Bootstrap has been installed properly. All right, perfect. Now we can get on with it. All right, now that the copying and pasting is complete, all we have to do is npm start this code and let's see what the result is. Wow, okay, look at this. Now we have a very simple bootstrap carousel that I'm able to navigate using buttons. And although it is small, it has got the mathematical requirements, it's got the animations, and it's got the arrows that help you guide you through it. Now, I'm not saying that you use this necessarily as your final prototype. As you can see, it also does it automatically, the scrolling, but this is a good basis to work off of. And I believe that our React component is very efficient and is a good basis for what's to come. And boom, that's a fully functional, automatically scrolling, mass themed bootstrap carousel with fun symbols that are relevant. And it's been created within a matter of minutes. So there you have it, a React component generator. It is an absolute game changer in the way you build and design web applications. Give it a try and take your web development to the next level, or even create your own DeFi account and get started on your own agents yourself. With our tool, the future of coding is not just efficient, it's bright. Thank you very much for listening.